What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, and I am back with another video for you guys. Now, and also I want to make a PSA announcement for anyone who's been inquiring about Allure 96 drop shipping or wholesale and all that good stuff. I have I have the new contact information um, because we switched over email management because so many people said they were sending emails and weren't getting responses and things like that so I decided to just go with a completely different software and all of that good stuff so I'll leave that information below. I also wanted to go ahead and show you guys Allure 96 hair. I noticed I never like get on here and actually show you guys the hair or Allure 96 hair so I definitely wanted to do so. This is just the silky straight uh, bundle that we do offer. This one is a 22 inch. Bundles are nicely, uh, nicely wefted. The hair flows really effortlessly. So if you guys want to order you guys some hair and all that good stuff, I will have some nice deals and nice specials going on for the holiday season. And also if you guys wanted to start a business this upcoming year, I do have a wholesale and drop shipping program as well. This hair is a bomb, okay? Like, and of course, as you guys see from all my videos, this is the only hair that I rock, okay? So if you like my styles, if you like my wigs, all that good stuff, it's made with this hair. And do you see how like bouncy and how much luster this, ha um, this hair has? Some quick little specs about Allure 96 hair. All of Allure 96 hair is double stranded, so you're not gonna get like crazy split ends at the bottom. And if you notice like the hair is like super thick all the way down to the bottoms as well. So that's also a perk. Cuticles are aligned, so that'll prevent any tangling or anything like that. Uh, the sheen is beautiful. Wefts are bomb. No synthetic fibers, no synthetic fillers, and it is just amazing hair. So you guys can order sample kits if you want to test it out before you invest. Um, and I'll leave all of that good stuff linked below for you guys. You guys have definitely been keeping me busy as far as emails and all of that good stuff because so many of you guys have questions and so forth. And something that I have been working on for so long. I've been working so hard, so hard, so hard on creating a formula for you guys. And the formula that I've been working on is just a formula so you guys can get proper pricing and you guys can profit for your business and all that good stuff. So stay on the lookout um, just because I've been working on this for so long and I can't keep my mouth shut and I'm just super excited that I was able to get this information master this information and now I can eventually start telling you guys about it so if you have an issue with pricing for your business and all that good stuff you will not have that issue anymore okay but moving on to the purpose of this video I tend to ramble so much but so the reason you clicked on this video is because you're clearly a entrepreneur or you're going to be a future entrepreneur and you want to know when is the proper time to pay yourself when you are the boss. So something that I will say is and to kind of like start off this topic is I personally believe the first four months into business this is not something that you should be focused solely focused on. It is something that you should totally focus on for the near future but if you're four months into business this is not something that I would kind of revolve my day around or stress out about just because that first four months or so you are just worried about getting money and making money and making sales and selling things and um, uh, making holiday sales and all that good stuff so with that being said I would not focus too much on rewarding yourself as far as checks go and things like that until a little later but this is valuable information for you guys to know so that when it is time to write yourself a little check it'll be easy for you to do you'll know how to do it and it's not you won't have to put too much time invested into it as far as like doing research or asking your mentor or things like that. So something that I feel as though is extremely important is setting up two separate bank accounts. Always keep your business money and your personal funds completely separate. Even though it's your business, I understand, but keeping everything super separate will create less chaos when it is time to start paying employees and then it is time to start rewarding yourself and paying yourself and all that good stuff. Keeping two separate accounts is amazing. And if you have your business registered, which all of you should, if you have your business registered and all that good stuff, you'll be able to open up a business account. Um, which would completely help you. You can legit keep everything separate instead of opening two uh, checking accounts and so forth. But let's say you don't want to open a business 
credit card or you don't want to uh, open a business account or anything like that it's always helpful just to have two separate accounts whether it's just two separate accounts within your personal account things like that you just want to keep everything separate and you just don't want to mix everything together it's going to cause for a disaster in the end and then you'll notice like you're not saving as much money as you possibly can and you'll be dibbling and dabbling between your business funds and your personal funds and it's not fun it's not fun I've been there I've done that so keeping everything separate will definitely help you in the long run I promise <laughs> some things that you do want to think about is how often will you pay yourself so once it's time to start paying yourself you want to know do you want to pay yourself on a weekly basis a bi-weekly basis or a monthly basis I personally recommend it's something that I do I pay myself on a monthly basis um, and the reason I pay myself on a monthly basis is because it allows me to break down all of my monthly expenses to see how much came in how much went out and it allows me to go all go over all of my numbers so that's why I personally like to do it monthly and then from there that's when I'll determine like hey this is how much I know that I'm going to reward myself with or this is how much I know I'm going to pay myself with because depending on the month when it comes to business there's low months and there's high months um once you start to enter the business world and you start to make consistent sales and have consistent funds and all that good stuff you'll kind of learn a little bit more about this but for me each month is just a little bit different because I, I like to save a certain amount of money uh, so let's say I have a super super amazing month and I make a substantial amount of money I'm going to reward myself a little bit more versus if I didn't make as much as I made last month I would then put the proper percentage in my per state in my savings and so forth and then I'll just reward myself with the additional percentage so uh, it's all about how you do it uh, I would say like in the beginning once it is time to start rewarding yourself or paying yourself rather I definitely would say just start off with monthly weekly could be a little tedious uh, because you would have to go more so based off projections and how many sales that you think you might get this week and you might have to follow a chart and things like that so it is just a little helpful and a little easier to just do it monthly where you have everything laid out you saw how much came in how much is left over rewarding yourself is extremely important so just think about all aspects um, when it does come to rewarding yourself and you don't want to do it too soon and you don't want to wait too late to start rewarding yourself but doing it on a monthly consistency will allow you to analyze what's going in what's coming out what did I what did I have to pay for what didn't I have to pay for what losses did I take this month things like that now also when you're thinking about that you then need to think about how much in percentage are you going to give yourself are you going to reward yourself 10% out of each month if you're doing it monthly if you're doing it um, weekly or even bi-weekly how much percentage goes directly to you personally um, and that could be like 10% of whatever profit you made that month or 30% of whatever profit or even 40 or 50 depending on how you set your business up and there's no right or wrong way to doing so uh, but one thing I will say is you guys need to have a guideline on what you're gonna go off of when it does come to figuring out the percentage that comes to you my I would tell you guys mine but mine is a little different and I do mine slightly different just due to the and it's not as simple as me saying hey I give myself 10% or I give myself 20% and things like that so I think I have to make a separate video to show you guys exactly the breakdown on how I do mines because mine goes into half percentages and then half of that half goes to me so it, it's very tedious but I will explain that if that is something that you guys are interested in and you guys can kind of mim mimic my method if you like my method but me I like to be able to put money in different places my personal account my business account my savings inventory whatever losses I took like took that month money I like to basically spread my income out um, so if that is something you guys are interested in let me know now something super important and I kind of touched on this a little bit in the beginning of this video is make sure your business can afford to pay you if your business is not in the right brackets to pay you or pay employees and things like that I would say don't worry about that at this stage focus on continuing to get sales continuing to get followers continuing to get exposure things like that um, 
And then once all of that stuff comes and you notice like, hey, I'm starting to see some coins, like that's when you then go ahead and, you know, start dishing out checks, okay? Now, if your business is elevated and you see like an increase in sales and sales have been increased for months on end, and you're seeing pretty good numbers, you have the option to get on salary. Um, in salary, you'd basically determine your salary based off of your projections, like I mentioned. And your projections is just the projected amount of money that you expect your business to bring in. Um, and you could do that for a week, weekly basis, or you can do it for the full year. I definitely recommend doing it for a full year, and I definitely recommend don't getting on a salary salary system until your business has been up and running for a year so you know that like hey when it is time to create your charts for the next upcoming year that you know like how much money you're working with so i'm gonna give you guys a quick example through projections i can go based off how much i made for christmas last year to determine what I feel my revenue would be this year through numbers and calculations and all of that good stuff. So that's basically like a breakdown on how projections work for your business and all of that good stuff. You'll be able to analyze year to year to see what you brought in this month to see what you could possibly be projected to bring in the following month. Now doing that is not completely accurate because you might you may surpass the sales that you made last year but there's also um, that downfall to where the point you could possibly not make as much so that's why it's just called projections so it does take a little time time for you to get all of those numbers accurate and things like that but if you guys want a video about projections let me know I only want to create content that I know you guys are really interested in viewing or interested in to the point where I mentally and physically know that this will help you in your business so if that is something that you do want to see let me know and I, if I get a nice amount of votes and all that good stuff I'll go into detail with more so projection so you'll know like exactly if you are going to get on salary for your business what to give yourself or how to break it down to the point where you can figure out what to pay yourself and your staff if you have um employees as well now something that i want you i don't want you guys to screw up or mess up or anything like that you always want to treat your business like any other ordinary employee out there would treat their business or treat the company that they're working for no shortcuts no dibbling and dabbling in the cash register or the cash drawer treat everything professionally um and, and the less you dibble and dabble into your money and all that good stuff allows you to save even more so my biggest 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 tip that i want you guys to take from this video is to try your hardest to not double dip into your piggy bank okay and your piggy bank is basically your business account do not double dip do not come back for seconds when it's not time to come back for seconds treat everything equally treat everything as best buy would treat their company or walmart would treat their company um because your business is your baby and when it's time to reward yourself and pay yourself you will definitely know so if this information was kind of like to someone and someone didn't really grasp all the information i was saying i do offer coaching sessions I even offer emergency coaching sessions that are only 15 minutes and it's very affordable. So if you guys are interested in, and I see all of you guys, I read every comment, even though I cannot reply to every comment because there's comments, like I get a lot of comments a day. Um, but I still want to say thank you guys for all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for commenting royal underneath all of my pictures. And um, I see all of that. I see all of it. I, sh I, I thank you guys so much. Thank you for everything. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't be alarmed if you see me in this same red jacket because I have quite a few videos, like I said, that I want to get out there for you. But don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I do like my motivational speeches and I show you guys some behind the scenes stuff and ask questions and all that good stuff. So I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.